Hello there, Leslie McDonnell with Remax Select Properties. Today, I wanted to share with you some new legislation that has been passed by our provincial government with respect to short-term accommodations. So on October 26th of this year, the government passed the Short-Term Rental Accommodations Act. And uh, the purpose of this legislation is to uh, promote or to encourage uh, properties that are currently being used as short-term accommodations to become long-term accommodations, increasing the pool for uh, long-term rental properties. Uh, and this, yeah, so we'll go through a little bit about what it is all about. Um, so the, as I mentioned, the act was passed in October and it will come into effect on May 1st, 2024. So this coming spring, we'll be seeing this come into effect. <clears throat> the purpose is to give governments stronger tools to enforce short-term rental bylaws, to return short-term rentals to the long-term rental market, and to establish the provincial a province in a regulation of short-term rentals. Uh, and, and there are uh, exceptions. So any reserve native land is uh, not going to be in it. No hotels, motels. And it also doesn't affect communities that have a population of 10,000 or less. Uh, so smaller communities are not affected. Uh, now, it's going to come with some new fines. So offenses to this act will range from to, up to $50,000 fines. So that is definitely um, uh, making it a lot more questionable whether or not people want to uh, not follow the rules. Uh, business licenses will need to be displayed on the uh, sites where the short-term rentals are being promoted for the ones that do meet within the exemptions. Uh, and now there's a whole, you still can do short-term rentals if it is your principal residence or if it's a secondary suite within your principal residence. So it has to be on your per, per principal residence. So for instance, say somebody was living uh, on their property and they wanted to go to Europe for a month and they thought maybe they'll rent out their home on a short-term accommodation while they're away. That is within the guidelines, as long as it's within your principal residence. You can also do a short-term rental of a room or whatnot within your own personal residence. Uh, there are 14 resort municipalities, uh, which are exempt, and municipalities with a population of under 10,000, uh, and island trusts, and agritourism accommodations. So uh, those are the options that can still do short-term rentals. Um, where it will apply, Abbotsford, Belclara, Burnaby, Campbell River, Comox, Courtney, Coquitlam, Cumberland, Dawson Creek. Here's a list of all of the communities that will be affected by this uh, short-term accommodation new law. And uh, what is short-term? I'm not sure if it has it in here, but basically it's 90 days. So anything being rented for less than 90 days will be considered a short-term rental. Uh, and the timeline of everything, so it's uh, May, 20, May 1st, 2024. Uh, it will come into the full effect. They're going to do data sharing in 2024 as well. And then by the end of 2024, they're hoping to have a provincial registry launched uh, where they have, uh, you know, everyone who's registered within it. Yeah, if you've got any questions about this, uh, do let me know. I suspect that this new uh, legislation will possibly bring some more inventory to the market in the spring uh, with respect to definitely one bedroom uh, condos in Airbnb friendly buildings. Uh, we'll probably be seeing some more inventory in the spring. And uh, if you've got any questions, I'm here for you. Leslie McDonnell with Remax Select Properties. I hope you're all having a fantastic day.